Okay, so um, thank you all for coming out today. Um, as Alex explained, we're here to talk about Council's new FOGO service. So for those of you that don't know, FOGO stands for Food Organics Garden Organics. Um, we are very excited because it's hitting our curbs as we speak, the new 240 litre wheelie bins with lime green lids, which will be your FOGO bin. Um, so I've put together a bit of a presentation to tell you some things that you may not have realised can go into your FOGO bin. Um, for those of you that do compost already, that's fantastic. Some comp well, household composts do not get up to the required temperature to break down certain items that we can put into our FOGO bins. So these things that I've listed, um, including dog and cat poo, hair and nail clippings, grass clippings, um, banana peels, coffee grinds, raw and cooked meat and bones and fish um, castings, I suppose, for want of a better term, can go into your FOGO bin. The FOGO material will be collected and taken to a compost facility. So it will be turned into soil which is um, really rich in nutrients and able to use in our agriculture um, and things throughout and farming throughout Tasmania. So it's more than just a compost service. It's going to be able to take um, branches and prunings of roses and other things that you may not have thought of as well. So all of those things that can't break down in a household compost will be able to take in your FOGO bins. Um, so the reason why Council are introducing a FOGO service is because Currently in Australia, um, it's a requirement that we landfill all of waste, household waste. Um, our landfill is filling up very fast. So we've had to make a decision for our environment and we've decided to take all the organic material, which makes up about 60% of a household waste bin, and turn it into something to create a circular economy with that. So instead of just burying um, food and garden organics in landfill and having it rot because it doesn't break down in that environment, uh, when it rots it creates methane gas. There will be no methane um, emissions into our environment. So the state government also this year will be um, adopting a, well, sorry, council will be adopting a waste levy that state government are, are introducing. So every tonne of garbage that is going to our landfill will cost us a lot more. So this is a cheaper alternative for us to be using a FOGO service and it will cost you approximately $2 a week. So that's going to be a very cheap way for you to um, take food and garden organics out of your household waste bin and have it, like I said, turned into something that's usable. Um, so I've got here a diagram on what a household garbage bin is made up of and 60% of that is organic or compostable. So we can actually take that out and decrease the size of what, um, our, what our waste is that's going to our landfills. Therefore extending the life of our landfill. Um, so it's a three bin waste collection service. We'll have, um, each household will have a standard waste and recycling bin and a FOGO bin. The FOGO bin collection will be the opposite week to your waste and recycling. So if your waste and recycling is collected on a Monday, uh, one week, the following Monday will be your FOGO bin collection. So what every household will receive is the 240 litre FOGO wheelie bin with a lime green lid, a caddy for your kitchen food scraps, a roll of compostable liners, um, so these are essentially to line your kitchen caddies. We have had people mention that if they were to have something like this sit on their kitchen bench, it would get smelly and attract ants. Um, I know for a fact, because I've got one of these sitting next to me at my desk, that the liners significantly decrease the attraction of ants and smell. So these will be delivered to every household once the bin has um, arrived on your property. On your curb, these will be delivered to your door with the caddy with a roll of liners. Once your liners have run out, you can purchase more at Coles or Woolworths. Make sure they are compostable and have a logo, which is hard to see on this, but I've put one on here. So this is a compostable logo. 
Um, Glad do a, a bag and Multix do a bag which are made of a plant material. Another way to minimise the cost is not to use those and to line this simply with newspaper or don't line it. Just throw food scraps straight into it. Okay, so that's just basically something we're providing a kitchen caddy because people were saying that they wanted something in their kitchen for food scraps so that they didn't have to go out and use this third bin. Um, it's just something that council's providing just to make it a little bit easier for you. Um, so yes, you can certainly wrap food scraps in newspaper. Um, one thing I didn't mention is that paper is acceptable in the FOGO bin, so that includes tissues and hand towel and newspaper as well. So where can you get help? Council um, have, um, we've aligned with a website called Waste Starts With You. So Waste Starts With You have, has tips and everything you need to know about FOGO. Um, if you don't have a computer or you want some information, hello, come in. Um, Council's customer service is able to assist you with any inquiries and we also have an app called Recycle Coach. The app is really handy because it can send you reminders about when your bin needs to go out. So if you can set yourself a reminder or if you've put something in the freezer um, that you didn't want to put into your bin the, the night before to get out and put in your bin, set yourself a reminder on Recycle Coach. But like I said, if you're not tech savvy, you can always come in and get um, any information that you need from customer service at council or ring myself, Alex or Evan or talk to your local alderman and we'll be able to provide you with any information that you need.